Welcome to another edition of Mark's Augmented Reality TV. Today we'll be taking a first look at the Apple iPad, which just came out on Saturday. Um, as you can see, it's got a 9.7 inch screen. We'll take a look at that when we turn it on and see how pretty it is. But uh, physically looking at the unit, you can see it's very thin. Um, on the top, there's a, a place where to plug your headphones in. There's a microphone, so you can use Shazam and, and things that actually use microphones, voice recorder. There's a button for turning it on on top, very similar to the iPhone. If we turn it on its side, there's a, a volume toggle for adjusting the volume, as well as a lock to actually lock the, the orientation. So when you actually you know, move it from landscape to a portrait, it automatically rotates the image. That will lock that so that doesn't happen. Then we look at the bottom. We actually have, we have a dock connector, as you'd expect, and then a speaker. And you'll see the speaker actually sounds very good. In the front, there's actually a button, um, very similar to the to the Apple iPhone that you're probably familiar with. And when you look at it, you can see it's just an absolutely gorgeous 9.7 inch screen. Um, the other thing that I think is really amazing is the speed, and you'll see that very quickly in this video. First thing I'm gonna show you is this picture frame, which is built in, which actually allows you to randomly go through the pictures you've loaded onto your, onto your iPad and just flips through these. So this is actually pretty cool. You actually can put it in the stand and put it in a room and it'll actually be a, a picture frame for you. So that's kind of cool. It's kind of like a screensaver that you can actually put in somewhere in your house and uh, people can take a look at these things. So let's start by unlocking it. I'm not going to go through every application. Um, there's just so much to show here. So I, I want to try to keep this relatively short, but I want to at least give you a feeling for what the iPad's all about. So uh, one of the first things I'm going to do is go into Maps and kind of give you an idea of the speed. Of course, they still use Google Maps. We'll see how long that, that lasts. Um, they do have Street View, so I'll go into Street View, and what's really cool is down here in the bottom right, you actually can see the ori orientation of what you're looking at, and you can see how fast it actually scrolls through in Street View. I mean, it's just amazing, and you scroll up or down, and just amazing the speed of, uh, of the video on, uh, on the iPad. Next, let's go ahead and we'll look at uh, YouTube. Um, YouTube, as you'd expect, you know, works the way um, you'd expect it to, so there's Featured videos, you know, top rated, you know, most viewed. You can scroll very quickly through the videos. If you want to watch one, you just click on it and it actually brings up the YouTube player. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie bit me. <laughs> anyway, so that's, uh, that's YouTube. You get a feel for it. You can actually scroll through the various items. Really nice interface. Um, I, I really like the way that works. Um, next thing I'm going to jump to is I'm going to skip iTunes Store. It's you know pretty kind of what you're used to. I'm going to show one thing in App Store, which I think is kind of cool and, and different. That's not in you know the, the the iPhone App Store, for example. Um, so actually, when you go in, there's you know you know featured applications, and again, their iPad apps are going to show initially, and then there's you know top ones, and you can go into categories. But when you get into categories, kind of neat, the spotlight feature, you actually can scroll your finger through the, the ones that are spotlighted and then actually stop on one that might interest you. So I'll stop on this one. Um, if you're interested in actually looking more about it, you can just click on it and it brings you to more information about that application. So I just want to show you that one little, one little piece. Pretty cool. Um, next thing we'll jump into is uh, Safari. Um, this is actually the, the Apple homepage. As you know, Apple and Adobe are having a, a feud, and we'll probably never see Apple Flash on uh, on the iPad or iPhone or you know, <laughs> you know any of those devices. You know, fortunately or unfortunately, but there is this link on their homepage for uh, sites that are actually ready for iPad. So um, you can look and see here; these are all using HTML5 for for showing their videos. Uh, maybe we'll jump into Time Magazine and take a look at that one. You see the browser is fairly quick. The images are beautiful. They come up fairly quickly. Um, you can jump in, for example, on the videos on the time site. And let's see what they've got here. Um, here's one. 10 iPad apps to grab on launch day. So let's go take a look at that. So we'll start that. And we can see it I works great. Can't stop it. You only hope to stay clear of them all. 
Here's a look at 10 iPad specific apps. So that's Safari. Um, next thing I'm going to do is show you the um, photo application. I'm going to skip Mail. You can, I mean, Mail looks a lot like Mail for the Mac. Um, very nice, um, but they're really the greatest thing is actually being able to see your list and in your inbox on the left-hand side and then the, the actual email on the right. So let's jump into photos because some neat things here. Um, one of the coolest things you've probably seen is when you're looking at, you know, the pictures, you see these stacks. And if you actually, you know, expand on a particular stack, it opens it up and you can close it. So you can kind of look at the pictures underneath. It's really, really cool and very, very fast. There's also places, um, which for those of you who use the Mac and use iPhoto on the Mac, um, you can geo uh, code your uh, pictures. And this actually shows a map of your pictures. Here's one, some in Chicago um, at a conference I spoke at. Um, you actually can bring up the pictures and there I am speaking at that conference. So re really neat. iPhoto is really cool and extremely fast. Um, the iPad app, iPod application, kind of what you'd expect. You can come down here at the bottom. We can look at songs. We can look at the different artists. We can look at albums, scroll through the albums until we find something we like. Uh, let's listen to some Johnny Winter, one of my favorite songs here is rock and roll that you an oldie but a goodie you actually look at all the songs you have then you can switch back and you'll look at the rest so um, pretty neat stuff so um, that's the iPod app let me go pause this So I actually want to show you um, a couple applications um, that I've downloaded. Um, the first one is Weatherbug, um, and it really gives you a feel for what you can do with the bigger real estate um, of the of the iPad. So um, what it's doing is actually loading a map up, and you can see there's a storm. I live right about here, and there's a storm coming. We actually can put that map in motion. Uh, so let's take a look at that. Um, one of the cool things are some of these interface features. So if you hear, see here, we can see conditions. We see um, our you know, camera pictures, we see forecast and hourly forecast. By just touching one of these, it actually brings it up into a fuller screen. And then you can actually touch back where it was or you know, click it to bring it back. And you can just see how fast it is. Same with the camera. We can actually scroll through the different cameras set up in different areas around where I live. Um, really cool. Uh, again, we can look at the forecast and it expands the forecast. So you, you really can get an, an idea of you know, how, you know, how cool the interface is and how these new HD or iPad apps that are coming out, you can see how having this extra real estate can really make a big difference as well as some of the, some of the user interfaces. Um, the last thing I want to show is something that I just downloaded that's really amazing. And I know, you know, games normally, you know, take advantage of the features more than anything else. And I bought this uh, racing game and um, it's, it's really incredible. It's a $10 game, but it's uh, Real Racing HD from Firemint. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, I'm going to do a quick race, pick this track. I've only can do these hatchbacks cause I, you have to earn the other ones. Um, so that looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and pick that car. So we'll get racing and see, actually can see how this thing works. And hopefully I won't make a, too much of a fool of myself and run off the road too much. But, um, anyway, so here we are, we're racing. In this particular mode, I don't have to brake or press the gas pedal. I really haven't tried the other modes, but you know, see how many. But you just can see it's really amazing, the graphics and the gameplay, and um, just, just really cool. Anyway, uh, that's really all I wanted to show you about the iPad today. I want to keep this relatively short. I'll probably you know, re record something you know, maybe this weekend once I've had a chance to look at some more of the apps, maybe go into more, more details. I hope you enjoyed it and hope to co come and see me at uh, markmgram.com uh, where my blog is. And uh, until then, this is uh, Mark Graham signing off.